Now let's turn our attention to Northern Africa, to Algeria. Algeria is the largest country in Africa by size. It's also the largest country in the entire Arab world, so it makes sense that the country would want similarly massive infrastructure. Yesterday, it took a step in that direction. Algeria officially inaugurated the Great Mosque of Algiers. The Algiers Mosque is the third largest mosque in the world in terms of size and architecture, and the largest in Africa where we are. It will be, God willing, the starting point for this new invitation to Islam. It's the largest mosque outside of Mecca and Medina, the largest in all of Africa. It also has the tallest minaret in the world, reaching a height of 265 meters or 869 feet. The structure sprawls over almost 28 hectares of land. Its prayer hall alone can accommodate 120,000 people. The mosque is grand in every sense of the world. It also proposes to champion a grand mission. Today is the reward of the immense efforts of our martyrs represented by this place and also a teaching to guide us towards the good, the good in moderation, knowing that Algeria is known for its scholars, such as Abdel Hamid Ben Badis and the Muslim ulemas who have all worked to spread Islam and an Islam of moderation. He says the mosque will help spread the Islam of moderation. Algeria has a troubled history with extremism. There was a civil war in the 1990s. One faction was led by Islamists. The government crushed their movement and the mosque is meant to draw people away from hardline beliefs, which is a good cause. But is this mosque really the right symbol for moderation? Because the project is mired in controversy. Firstly, the mosque was commissioned by Algeria's former president, Abdel Aziz Bouteflika. The man served as Algeria's president for 20 years until he was forced to resign in 2019. He'd wanted to name the mosque after himself to leave behind a legacy, not exactly something that screams moderation, but just when he was about to inaugurate the building, the people of Algeria ousted this president. So they averted one disaster. But that doesn't take away from the troubled history. There have been numerous corruption allegations, reports about contractors receiving kickbacks, state officials taking a cut, about the mosque even being built on seismically risky ground, meaning an earthquake could bring it down someday. The Algerian government has denied these allegations, of course, and it has gone ahead with the inauguration, which is also a bit of a sham, considering that the mosque has been open to tourists for about five years already. So lots of issues here, but none compares to the biggest controversy, the hypocrisy of the Algerian government. Algeria chose a Chinese company to build this great mosque. The contract was awarded to China State Construction Engineering, a company owned by the Chinese state, you know, the same Chinese state that is destroying mosques back home, the same Chinese state that is confining and re-educating, as they put it, Uyghur Muslims in Xinjiang. China has been closing or converting thousands of mosques, limiting the construction of new ones and gradually clamping down on the freedom of worship. But while it guts mosques at home, Beijing apparently profits from their construction abroad. It likely made a tidy profit by helping build Algeria's Grand Mosque, which officially cost about $900 million. But considering the cost overruns and rampant corruption allegations, the actual cost is estimated to be around $2 billion. So China probably made off with quite the haul. Now, no one really expects China to care about their hypocrisy, but what about Algeria? How are Muslim nations so quick to turn a blind eye to Beijing's abuses? Does Chinese money really wash away all their crimes? Apparently it does for Algeria. The country has signed oil deals and initiated railway projects with China. It was also contemplating military procurement deals. It seems the benefits of Chinese trade outweigh any moral dilemmas. But is that really the type of moderation that Algeria wants to practice? It seems the great mosque of Algiers has been built on shaky foundations, both literally and metaphorically.